Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. I have to say, you've been doing very well if you've reached this point and you're still going. That's excellent. So, off we go. I don't know how I ended up with this job. I'm rubbish at reading out loud. So thank you for bearing with me. It took the Magi and their camels rather a long time to reach the gold mine. While the three wise men were engaged in a particularly heated discussion of the revelation of divinity through colourful baubles, the camels had got um, had discussed the journey ahead. Kevin and Gary, being the laziest of the three camels, they had united and persuaded Wayne to keep up the pretense of having an injured foot. This way, they argued, the camels would be permitted to walk rather slower than they would otherwise have done and take a lot of little rests in which they could sit down, spit and take much needed break from listening to the philosophical musings of the Magi. And so it came to pass that Wayne spent the next few days indulging in dramatic limping and plaintive sighing and feigning loss of appetite until offered the finest of cam camel treats while Kevin and Gary ambled along behind him, wearing slightly smug smiles. This could only go on for so long. However, the wise, however, the wise men were indeed wise, and all three of them had a working knowledge of veterinary medicine, with particular regard to camels, donkeys and other biblical animals. I really don't want to sound unsympathetic, said Balthazar one day, with a slightly suspicious air, but I still can't seem to find anything wrong. Perhaps Wayne has tummy ache from all those camel treats you've been giving him, Melchior. At this, the camels decided that it was time for them to return to their normal levels of efficiency. And within a few days, the Magi and their camels had reached the gold mine. I don't know why we had to go all the way to the gold mine, moaned Casper, who once again was feeling a little sore and travel sick, common side effects of traversing afar by camel. According to the hieroglyphs found as early as 2600 BC, King Tushrata of Mitanni says they have more gold in Egypt than they have dirt. Couldn't we just go there with a bucket? He had an excellent memory for abstract learning and fact from Wikipedia, but not a strong grasp of the concept of hyperbole. Did you know uh, you can eat gold leaf? Piped up my Melchior excitedly. I can tell I'm going to have to watch you around the gold once we've bought it, said Balthazar. It's a present, remember. Strictly no nibbling the gold, Melchior. And you, Casper, none of your weird experiments trying to turn it into lead or marmalade or whatever else. Let's find the mine owner, get the gold and go. Casper, you stay here and keep an eye on those malingering camels. Melchior, you can come with me. Balthazar was the most sensible of the wise men, and within a few minutes he had spoken to the mine foreman, who had helpfully set up a meeting straight away with the mine owner. The mine owner was, as you might expect, a man who owns a literal gold mine. Fantastically cheerful. Did that read right to you? Shall I do it again? The mine owner, as you might expect from a man who owns a literal gold mine, is fantastically cheerful. I see what you mean. Ah, visitors to my mine. Excellent, he boomed to them. I just love visitors. Fantastic. Where are you visiting from? We've come from the east and we started Balthazar, but the mine owner interrupted. I love the east. Such a wonderful place. Wonderful. I suppose you've come to buy some gold. Yes, said Malcolm. We'd like to buy, buy some gold for... Well, that's just spiffing because I own a gold mine, bellowed the mine owner. Just ruddy marvellous. Like many people who are very cheerful, he was also slightly frightening. We've come to buy some gold to give as a present to a baby, interjected Balthazar quickly before he could be interrupted. Gosh, aren't babies wonderful? said the mine owner. Their toes and their chubby faces. Aren't they just brilliantly cute? he yelled, causing babies several miles away to wake up and start crying. Well, as 
I love visitors so much and I love babies so much. If you can solve this stupendously fun puzzle, I'll let you have some gold free of charge. Could the puzzle be written down? asked Melchior tentatively. He didn't think his hearing eardrums could cope with the prolonged conversation with this man. Certainly, roared the cheerful mine owner and presented them with an inscribed tablet. And on the top it says, find the four-letter word. With all my 21st century equipment. Ta-da! And my pen. I love, I love this bit. I do, I do. Right. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. So it's between the and newborn. We have then. Then, we'll change to another colour, shall we? Uh, number two. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sin is reconciled. We've got um, earth and and to make hand. I was rubbish at these when I first did them. Uh, number three. It came upon a midnight clear. The midnight. There we are. We've got them. Let's have that. Oh, we've had pink, haven't we? Let's have a nice bright blue. Uh, that glorious sun of old fold. Don't tell Morley I'm singing, will you? I see. Such a stickler for getting the right note. What's that got to do with anything? Um, number five. Ah, we had to change this. Now, I have some other notes that aren't in the great big book. But you'll have it all right. Um, this one is angels from the realms of glory. Ring your flight o'er all the earth. Ooh, I can't find it. Can you find it? Ah, yes. Uh, let's write it in. The realms here. That's a common one to shove in that one. Uh, let's have some orange. Oh, come all ye faith. Oh, come all. You faithful, we've got meal. Huh? Uh, should we have a nice bright green? Fancy bright green? I fancy bright green. Uh, oh, little town of Bethlehem, how st oh, still we see the lie. The like now, the problem with these four letter words, heal, is by the time the 11 plus arrives, you won't be able to read a thing because you'll be going, Oh, there's a four letter word hidden then. There's a four letter word, and that word's got a three letter word hit in the middle of it and that word you can take one letter out and make it in another word oh and those two words could go together to make another new word you just can't read a thing i'm rubbish in sort of august september completely illiterate right thank you my darlings we're almost there till christmas now um i hope you continue to enjoy advent thank you for joining me see you soon bye